I don't think you can pick a winner in this one. I wonder which two superstars have joined forces first. Well, Cole, alliances are always formed and dissolved in triple threat matches. Remember, it's every man for himself. And I think if you're a Christian competing in this one, you'd want to align yourself with one of these monsters as opposed to them joining forces to crush you. Boy, he just got laid out. The knee. Mark Henry feels like he's been disrespected. The world's strongest man looks like he's going to take a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, whether he's technically next in line or not. Mark Henry's been in this company for more than 15 years. He's of the strong opinion that he deserves a title match against World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. Well, if there's one person in WWE who has no regard for the power rankings, it's Mark Henry. When someone the size and strength of Mark Henry feels disrespected, that's not a good thing for anyone, especially the World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. Christian reverses thing. Hey, now! He got him! A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Tremendous display here from Christian. What an incredible suplex. Oh, what an elbow drop. And Sheamus reverses it. After losing the WWE title to Randy Orton last year in Chicago, the Celtic Warriors looking for revenge. Well, it was well documented that Sheamus took last year's WWE title loss very, very hard. It looks like the Celtic Warriors set for a championship comeback. Sheamus is looking to regain the World Heavyweight Championship from Randy Orton. I have a funny feeling the Viper will do whatever it takes to avoid that one-on-one -on -one match. Well, when Sheamus sets his sight on something, more times than not, he gets... Oh, Chris is getting the fight brought to him. That's for sure. I don't know how Chris can overcome this adversity. 270 pounds of Sheamus uh. and over 400 pounds of Mark Henry. Oh, man. Christian needs to figure out a way to stick and move in this one. What a kick by Christian. Sheamus seeks out a big move here. What a kick by Christian. Oh, a serious knockout blow. Whoa, Sheamus getting a little touched up early here. The Celtic Warrior is not in the best place. He needs to regroup before things get worse. Yeah, Sheamus needs to turn this around because this whole thing could be over with one world's strongest slam for Mark Henry or one kill switch for Christian. Christian's doing everything imaginable to secure a return match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, what a wild move by Christian. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Oh, out of nowhere! were slightly unorthodox. Yeah. If delivering an RKO to his own girlfriend live on Raw, as Orton did, is slightly unorthodox, then I don't want to know what extremely unorthodox would be. I've never seen anything like that. You know, the challenge is always first being able to take Mark Henry off his feet. And the world's strongest man's taking some shots here. This might just tick Mark Henry off more than anything else. Yeah, if you're Christian or Sheamus in this one, you have to keep the attack going because if Mark Henry turns the tables on you, whew, watch out. Sheamus needs to go on offense here before he gets picked apart. Sheamus hit that one. He wasted no time going for that. And a kick out of two and a half. he got dropped. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. And the way this match unfolded, one has to wonder what it'll mean for Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry's going to continue to launch attacks on anyone in his way until he becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. It's that simple.
I'm sure this match certainly has not gone the way Christian had planned. No. What Christian needs to do is create some separation here. And this has got to be it. And he gets the shoulder up. Remember, this is a no disqualification match. Anything goes. High cross. Sheamus launched him at least 10 feet. Well, the Celtic Warriors in a bad position here. I just don't know. Oh, boy. Here he goes. Trying to turn him. Oh, and he hit it. Christian hit it. Here's the cover. And who the... Mark Henry. Mark Henry just pulled Christian right out of the ring before the referee could count the three. And now here's Randy York, who's out here uh, apparently to get a, a closer look at who his number one contender's going to be. And I think Randy Orton may be on his way down here. You gotta wonder if Orton's uh, rooting for anybody in particular. Poor Christian thought he had the match won before. He did have the match won. Mark Henry got involved. Christian had hit the kill switch. He'd gone for the cover. The referee got to two. And then Mark Henry yanked Christian by the leg right out onto the floor. And now here's Randy Orton. But what? Going to just sit down and watch? Well, Orton's going to sit here and observe now. I guess he'll make his choice later. And he gets back in. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. And the boot connects with the abdomen. Oh, launched back into the ring. And Christian, you know, he's been doing everything he can, King, to try to win this match, and maybe that'll do it. Sheamus is reeling. Christian. Whoa! Tornado DDT, playing in the Celtic Warrior. That's it. That's Here's the be cover it. by Christian, Two. and Sheamus kicks out again. Oh, my gosh. How did Sheamus kick out of that? I, mean, I thought he, it was finished. He just doesn't give up, does he? Oh. What is Mark Henry doing? Mark Henry just shot Randy Orton down. What's he thinking here? Now he's getting into the ring. What on earth? Oh, look at this face-off between Mark Henry and Christian. What's going to happen here? against the Celtic warrior, Seamus. 